you who believe abstain stay away from bad suspicion or negative assumption when we assume something negative a brother is walking past and we say you know what this guy is reading salah without wudu for what it's such a dirty thought it shows that you perhaps might be doing that may Allah protect us you know a sister is walking in the middle of the night and you say eh, she's got bad intentions why she could have just gone through some heavy ordeal that you don't even know about. May Allah protect us, brothers and sisters. May Allah protect us all. Have a good assumption, really. Do not have negative thoughts because a lot of the times it displays the negativity in your own mind. You know, they say a dirty mind thinks dirty. So even when someone is speaking very clean, you know, they have a little cloud that pops up above their heads and their thoughts are all within that cloud. And they're bad thoughts. Why? Because a dirty mind thinks very dirty. This is why Allah is telling us, do not have negative suspicion. You rather have positive suspicion. Like we see sometimes people sitting on their mobile phones and you come into the masjid say, hey, this guy here is on his mobile phone in the masjid, but he's reading Quran. You may not know. Relax. And then sometimes you have a person with a Quran sitting with his Quran wide open and in there he's got a mobile phone with games, playing games. So you might not know what's going on. Still, the one with the Quran open, it's between him and Allah. You must think he's reading Quran. The one with the mobile phone continue thinking that he's doing something that is beneficial for him. Why do we need to think negative? This is what is drawing us away from our own peace and contentment. Because you think negative of others, believe me, they begin to think negative of you. So what happens? The whole world becomes a negative place. We need to be positive. We need to be people who think good about one another so that tomorrow we will also be thought good of. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala